Can't really say too much happened in this chapter, but it's just quick, but it was good to see Cone again, like, he's good for some fucking laughs. How's it going, guys? This is Tay Salaman here. I'm gonna get my thoughts and opinions on Bleach Chapter 521. Pretty much this week, I'm not gonna give a summary, because not much happened. Pretty much, I'm gonna just give you my highlights of what I thought in this chapter, pretty much. Getting the chapter, they, you know, they're sent over to the next person's uh, palace thing or whatever, you know, to train or whatever. And pretty much, they're deciding on who's gonna fucking break whose fall. And pretty much, they see Cone, pretty much Cone turns into Buff Cone, and they fucking use him as a pun, use him as the fucking, you know, pin cushion to land, to land on, so they won't hurt themselves. And pretty much, they arrive to Kike Fune's palace, who was the former captain of Squad 12 before, Ki who, before was before Kisuke. And pretty much they're there to pretty much eat food, like they fucking like picking out like this like Kikifune is a mother for sure. She's a motherly fi motherly figure. Like she got fucking food after food after food in her fucking palace. Like I see why she eats a lot. <laughs> but pretty much she's telling them to pretty much just eat until your heart's content. And pretty much they're fucking just you know picking out, picking out, picking out, picking out here and there. And pretty much each girl starts to have a conclusion herself and asks Randy pretty much like. Like, Renji, are you sure this is okay? Like, pretty much, we're just fucking stuffing our faces while everybody else in Soul Society is pretty much, you know, training and honing their skills for the next invasion. And pretty much, Renji gives his little wisdom, quote unquote, speech, which we haven't seen in a while, but pretty much what she does from time to time, I'll give a little speech here and there. And pretty much tells each other, pretty much, like, you shouldn't worry so much about that, pretty much, like, pretty much. Like, you need your energy, you know, to rest for a while and to eat and regain yourself. Pretty much, you can't overstress yourself. Sometimes, you gotta lay back and just chill sometimes. Pretty much, I was shocked to see that Renji gave a little speech. Like, he may, he may not be the smart, might not be the smartest or the brightest, but he does have a little wisdom up there. And pretty much, then we see Kiki Fune come in, and for a minute, I didn't think that was Kiki Fune because she was, you know, skinny, slim, you know, the take take you know. no. Big boo breath shit, <laughs> which Renji Cone and Ichigo saw. Fucking, once they saw her, you know, skinny and thin, but boo sticking out, you should saw that face when they had a uh, blanker, you know, doink, doink. <laughs> but pretty much, he goes on to say, pretty much, Renji's right, and pretty much, you know, she, you know, take the time to relax, eat, regain your cells, and everything. And that pretty much, that each member of the Zero Divisions, each member of the, you know, five division captains, you know, before they became one of the royal guard that pretty much back in the soul society that each of them created something special to leave behind for the, you know, for the Serite. And pretty much one of her one of her, you know, specialties were creating the artificial lives, you know, with the uh, monsters and everything. And so that's pretty much how Kong, you know, was born and everything, how that he could stick a peel inside of a fucking toy doll that can come alive. So that was her thing that she left back on the Soul Society. So I guess that she was, you know, a researcher as well. And so pretty much afterwards that the food was just the food wasn't just not the food that Ichigo and Renji were eating was not just like ordinary food. It was like to help them regain their Ryatsu and their strength and everything. And then pretty much now afterwards they're gonna be sent over to the next world palace. I can't remember the name. This is the first time we've seen his name and I have a hard time with Japanese name but I'm not even gonna try it. But we're moving on to the one guy that we saw when we first met the uh, captains, the uh, black guy with the uh, shades, the love looking like <laughs> with the shades. And pretty much they're going over, t going over him, t going over to him next, and pretty much he's the creator of the. Um, he gave, oh well, I guess, life or birth to the Don Procto. So I'm guessing he's the creator of the Don Procto. So that's gonna be curious to see on how that works out pretty much, seeing how he's the creator of Zion Cartel, so maybe he may be able to find a way to, you know, uh, rebuild or create a new version of Tenth of Zion Getsu. That's my end of the chapter for Bleach 521. Overall, it was, eh, it was a, a, a okay chapter, I guess you could say. Like I said, not much happened. Pretty much, it was just fucking Renji Cone and each of them just fucking picking out and shit. We did, we did learn some new uh, things about you know the Mazos and the Gi guys and everything. That pretty much Kike Fumi was the one that curated the, you know the Mazos and everything. That pretty much that 
Every time she uses her Riazzo and she drains herself out, she goes back to her skinny self. So I'm guessing that's why she, when she saw Shinji again after 100 years or whatever, he didn't recognize it because I'm guessing the last time he saw Kiki Fune back in the pendulum arc or whatever, she was skinny. So eating all that fucking food, got her ass a tummy tongue, fat ass, <laughs> and everything. But let me know what you thought of the chapter. Video response if you like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a blessed day.